<laughs> hey everybody! Today we're gonna be covering the ES Swaller MP200 stick function. Let's go! There you go. That's yes. a good one. Hey everybody, welcome to Sparky Built. And on today's episode, we're gonna be covering the stick function of the ES Swaller MP200. We're gonna cover setup, startup, and give you a couple demonstrations. I've got a 14 gauge cube that we cut out on the plasma and two pieces of eighth inch plate. So let's get started with the setup. You're gonna need your rod holder and your ground clamp. And we're gonna plug this ground clamp into port three, which is your negative port. Just pushes in and twists. Just make sure it has a good snug connection and put your ground clamp onto the your workpiece or the work table and then your rod holder is going to go into port 2 or your positive port again it just pops right in one way and then twists and that's ready to go that's your setup we're going to cover the so now we got to go over startup on your Rod holder, just make sure you don't leave it on a table or you'll arc out the arc out the rod. So let's get the machine started up. And here's the welcome screen. Yes, welder. And somebody was taking the last at a hundred amps. Not sure who, but we're gonna hit home. What should it have been? 100 amps? Hmm? Not 100 amps. The fucking paper calls oh, for 140. Go you can't go off that. That was like way wrong. Yeah, you can't go off. You got it. Yeah. All right, so we're, we're going to go over here to MMA. And then we're going, we have two options. We have, you hit the select button here. And you have the 60 series rod and the 70 series rod. We're gonna start out with the 60 series rod, and my rod size is 330 seconds, which you have 1 8 and 530 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and select 330 seconds. I'm gonna hit back, and then we can select our amperage. I'm going to start with 60 amps for 14 gauge, and if that's too hot or too, too mild, we'll crank up the amperage or drop it down. Okay, that covers the that covers the setup, startup, and now we're going to go for the demonstration. Let's get welding. <laughs> a oh stuff my goodness! I've ever seen. All right, got my gloves, my helmet, jacket on. Grab the rod holder here. Okay, so one more thing before we get started welding. When you're on the 60 series, focus. When you're on the 60 series, you need to move your ground clamp over to the positive terminal and your electrode over to the negative. And you'll get a better start, better, and you'll get a better strike. And I also noticed that with the 7018 that I'm not able to weld thin 14 gauge steel, so we had to move over to the 6011 the 6010 and I was able to weld the 14 gauge with that so let me give you a demonstration so there's my messy cube I'm set up on uh, and I'm set up on 55 and a half that seemed to be a good good spot for it Alright, so the 55 amps still burning too hot. I'm just getting just blowing through here. So I guess with the gaps it's just a little bit harder to, to weld. 
I'm gonna try to come down to 50. Just not sure if it'll hold the hold the beat. All right, let's try the eighth inch. Let me crank the amperage up, amperage up a little bit. All right, so that covers the stick function of the MP200, and that's actually gonna be our final episode of covering this welder. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.